Now this is a piece of wire, which is 20 centimeters long. Okay. And uh, say we are cutting this at C. This is point C. Let me use the same color. So this is cut at point C. And this length from A to C is X. But we don't know what is this exact length, but we know uh, only it's an unknown number. Okay, so this is some X centimeters. You can say this is X centimeters. So if this is X centimeters, what is the length from B to C? Well, if the length from A to B is 20 and the length from A to C is X centimeters, the length of B to C or C to B would be 20 minus X. Okay, so I hope you understand this. X plus, suppose let me explain. Okay, so let us write this. These are simple concepts which students struggle to understand. So AC is X and BC is 20 minus X. Okay, and AC, AB is 20. AB is 20. So I hope you understand AB or AC plus BC, AC plus BC. A to C plus B to C is equal to AB. Okay. So let's substitute. Let's uh, check whether what we have written is right. So AC is what? X plus what is BC? BC is 20 minus X. And this is equal to AB, which is we know is 20. So can you see this is same as writing X minus X plus 20. This is x minus x plus 20. So this and this gets cancelled. So what we have wrote is right. This implies 20 is equal to 20. Okay, so let's make this a bit interesting. Now suppose from this, from AC, from AC, you're making a square. You're making a square from AC. You're bending you cut this AC out and you're making a square. And from BC, you're making an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Okay. So the question is, what's the length of, what's the length of the each side of, of the square and the side of the uh, equilateral triangle? So let me draw a square first. So this is say the square that is made and this is an equilateral triangle. This is an equilateral triangle. Okay. So here, AC, if it is divided from X, this is, we know the length of AC is how much? The length of AC is X. And the length of BC is 20 minus X. Okay. So... The length of each side would be a quarter of this. So you can say this is x over 4. This is also x over 4. x divided by 4 and x over 4. So the length of each side would be x over 4. Okay. And what would be the length of each of this rect of this square? Equilateral triangle. So all these sides are equal. So well, that should be 20 minus x over what? We're dividing 20 minus x into three equal parts. So let me use a different color. So this is 20 minus x divided by 3. So this would be also 20 minus x over 3. And this would also be 20 minus x over 3. So let's check whether they all add up to. They should all add up to how much? They should all add up to 20. Okay. Mm. Okay, so yeah, uh, mm, a challenge I would leave leave this to you. Find the area of this square and the, find the area of this uh, equilateral triangle. So let's check whether this is right. So x over 4 plus x over 4 plus x over 4 plus x over 4. I'll give you how much. This is 4 lots of x over 4, which is 4 times x over 4, which is nothing but x. And that does make sense. This is, let me use this color, you've got 3 lots of 20 minus x over 3. 
So that is 3 lot, so that is 3 times 20 minus x over 3, so which is 20 minus x. It does make sense. Okay, so now this is a challenge that I give it to you. Take this as a challenge. Can you write the area of the square? Area of a square is, so let me give you the formula. Area of a square is base times height. So area of square, area of square is equal to base times height. Okay, so base times height. And area of a triangle is half base times height. Area of triangle is half base, B for base, times H for height.